What's going on guys, it's your boy the Gotcha Mogul here. So today is going to be kind of like a day 4 progression guide, how I've optimized my runs. Got Centaur to like 80% win rate percentage, 80-90% really. Centaur 9 about 40-50%, to 50 a lot of work to be done. But I'm still kind of waiting for the gear, the uh, Striker Armament. <coughs> Ooh, sorry, I'm a little sick. Striker Ar Armament box that's here with the 6 star attack set. Uh, to make Ginga just a super uh, one-shot beast. Um, until then, I just kind of slow crawl my way up and not waste mats on like unnecessary gear, right? So I'm going to show you my team so you can see like their gear and stuff. So Ginga, this is her stats. The same gear. Uh, I increase her crit rate. Uh, so that I can actually do the sorry I should probably show you the rest of the gear first I, but I forgot the name of it so I can actually do the silent recital on 9 because as you may know just like epic 7 um, when you have the uh, what is it the element advantage you get 15% more crit which is why the promised land you don't need as much crit because she's fire and majority of your units are water for the silent recital they are actually water so you don't get that bonus so to make my runs more consistent I increase Genga's crit rate so that I can continuously do damage of course Chahaya is still pretty much the same same skill up same gear Morris exactly the same same gear and Alice exactly the same same gear so i'm going to show you a run today for the promised land uh you guys probably want to see I'll, i guess i'll just show you all three right starting with stage eight how easy it is like with this turn order um things have gotten much simpler so a few guides online and I decided to just <laughs> copy it because clearly it was way more efficient. So as you can see the difference now between my runs before and my first one that I posted, Chahaya actually goes first. So I have Chahaya on the highest uh, speed gear that I have available for her so that she can go first defense break and there's not a single turn wasted when Giga attacks. If you look at my first video that I posted, Ginga pretty much uh, attacked first right after Alice and it just wasted a lot of DPS. And wow, look at that. The, the boss is almost already dead. One shot, right? Like, as you guys can imagine, my farms are going very well with this amount of damage I will put, right? Easy peasy. Alright, so I guess I'll show 9 here. 9 is still difficult. Because... At the end of the day, Centaur can still just one shot you, right? So, like, that is a big issue. And after all these runs, I'll actually show you the turn order if you guys don't know it already. Um, just to make it clear for how I got my team to run, because this team is actually accessible to everyone, so I should probably do that. Alright, this run is actually a wash. The defense break didn't connect, so let me retry. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So we extended the defense break. Hopefully Ganga goes crazy here. Uh-huh. How many bleeds? Perfect, perfect. So far the run is going really good. All I gotta do now is when the centaur goes, not one shot anyone, any of my DPS, and we should be fine. As you can see, health is looking real good right now. Okay, who does she kill? Perfect. I think we're good. I think the run is is fine now. Yep, yep. Yeah, this is a this is over. Perfect run. Um, I should probably farm this more, but I don't see the point. I need more uh, charms uh, for the fourth and what is it? Is it the fourth and fifth? Or no, it's the fifth and sixth slot. Need more charms uh, so I can make better sets for my units. And maybe this will be a good time to kind of show you 
the team. So right now, as you guys can see, uh, my team setup is pretty much the same, but I'm going to show you the turn order. So the important thing for Morris is that you prioritize her skill two because it gives a uh, kind of an AP B boost where it makes a unit um, turn cycle quicker and that's for Alice right so I have this prioritized on Alice who is in a number two position so that Alice can cycle uh, much more quickly and <clears throat> and there afterwards uh, Genga can actually cycle more quickly because Alice is as you can see here um, prioritizing her skill to which is targeting Genga in the fourth position so the cycle just keeps going where Alice turn cycles Ginga, Morris turn cycles Alice. So in the long run, <laughs> Ginga just gets more turns and Shahaya just goes first because her skill order is actually perfect um, on by default. So that's the only thing you need to know about the turn order. Shahaya is fine. There's no complications here. If you try to use like Shura, it's going to be a bit more complications because they kind of serve the same purpose for defense breaking. But... It's not as reliable at all because Chahaya can extend duration of debuffs um, and you you know pretty much whether or not to continue with the run at the debuff like doesn't connect at the very beginning right less complications when using Chahaya um, let's see here uh, and I guess I'll show you the silent recital run Now this one is actually, I keep hearing that uh, this is actually easier than Centaur 9, and I kind of disagree. Uh, the run is longer, I feel like a lot more randomness happens because the dual attacks from the little minions, and I, I often, someone often dies, like, randomly. Like, this, the dual attacks are insane. Yep, there we go. Boost Alice up. Alice goes. Jahaya. Oh, this is the part. They're definitely killing Morris here. Ooh, oh, yep, those dual attacks are insane. Oh, but. Oh, yeah, Ginga. I think Ginga kills her now. Yeah, so. Those are my runs. Everything is perfectly optimized. I can use the same team for the Silent Recital and Centaur 9. And that means that you can too if you're worried about additional teams. But that's not a necessity, right? As you can see, I'm using the same team for both, which is why I stress priority over these four units. And the reason why you want to farm these two things is that this gives you the gear for your slots 5 and 6, your crit set gear. Um, and also with the promised land you get your speed gear right like this is the whole purpose you always want to keep farming honestly you'll need to farm seven and eight farming these two is like a luxury because this is your slot five and six but the chances of you're probably not going to use as much slot five and six speed set gear as you may think so honestly farming seven and eight is probably priority for right now one is easier and quicker and two less like energy consumption three you actually can maximize your uh, gear sets like you know slots one to four you can use speed set and then slots five and six you can use your crit set and then you'll literally have like your perfect uh gear sets going forward for pvp pve and honestly I, nine is just luxury right that's if you start wanting to put um you know random pieces of sets and random orders right like but that's more later down the road which a lot of people say farming nine isn't actually necessary uh i'm just trying to speed run into end game so feel free to ask me any questions you know leave a comment below subscribe and uh i'll just continue to upload show you guys a path i am a dolphin i want to let that know let everyone know so um yeah i do spend like five dollars here and there for like uh the daily packs the, the things that make sense right so uh yeah enjoy the video